Okay, I honestly wasn't really sure if I wanted to make a video talking about this because I am so angry and so frustrated that this happened. For those of you who don't know, which I feel like at this point, how could you not? Um, it was announced today that Microsoft has shut down a couple of their uh, gaming studios. Um, I can't remember the one name of the studio that made Redfall, just because I wasn't a fan of Redfall, obviously. But if you couldn't tell by my Hi-Fi Rush shirt right now, uh, they also decided to close Tango Gameworks, which uh, made Hi-Fi Rush, which made the Evil Within games, Ghostwire Tokyo, and... Um, yeah, so they announced it today that they were um, they were shutting down the studio. Uh, but they did make a very important point to mention that Hi-Fi Rush, as well as all of the other Tango Gameworks games, uh, can still be made available for purchase. And specifically Hi-Fi Rush, because that game did so well last year. It, it blew everyone out of the water. It came out of nowhere and snagged so many awards for this past year, like dozens, I feel, at this point, was so well-beloved by everybody, not just in the Xbox community, but in the, the PlayStation community, the Switch, like, everybody fucking loved this game. I loved this fucking game. It really reminded me about why I love playing video games in the first place, and frankly, just action games, right? Like, you know, it's it was such a fun fun fucking video game it was like the video game the video the most video game video game that you could play that's the way that i described hi-fi rush if you are a fan of video games you will like hi-fi rush i don't care if you don't like action games if you don't like rhythm games it is so fucking fun i don't know a single person who does not like hi-fi rush like i'm i'm being honest right now Every single person that I have talked to about Hi-Fi Rush has said that they either liked it or loved it. I don't know a single person who said that they did not like it. And this this is the things they get. All of the money that, that Tango Gameworks made for them, um, all of the attention that they got for Microsoft and Xbox and Bethesda, all of that. And this is this is the thanks they get. The, the studio's gone. And the thing that I think really pisses me off the most is the huge, huge hypocrisy about this whole thing. Like, Xbox was praising the fuck out of this game. They were advertising the hell out of it. And it did so well that it grew past the Xbox brand and moved on to PlayStation. Like, that's... That's fucking crazy to me. Like, honestly, I thought it was going to stay on Xbox and PC forever. And frankly, the only reason why I was even to play it was because it was on PC. And I'm not a PC guy. Like, at least I wasn't at the time. I never really played PC games. But I, I tried my hardest to play and stream it on my channel. And I had an absolute blast with it. And, and in fact, like, it turned out, just for my own personal case, to be, like, a very successful playthrough. I've always sung the praises of Hi-Fi Rush. And Xbox did as well. I have a tweet right here from, um, from what's-his-face, uh, Aaron Greenberg... Aaron Greenberg from Xbox, who I believe, uh, from my understanding, is like the vi the VP, yeah, VP Xbox Games Marketing at Microsoft and an actual board member, said this about a year ago. Hi-Fi Rush was a breakout hit for us and our players in all key measurements and expectations. We couldn't be happier with what the team at Tango Game Works delivered with this surprise release. And apparently, yeah, that was a fucking lie <laughs> because... What, what the fuck are they doing? And not to mention, too, like, Hi-Fi Rush. So, okay, like, it was a huge success, right? Right. So that we, we've already established that, right? But not only was it a huge success just on, you know, like, Xbox Game Pass, because it was, it was free on Game Pass day one, which is what they fucking do with their Game Pass, right? That's what they fucking do, right? So if, if, th is, if this is about money, that's your own goddamn fault for doing that. Right? Like, and even then, it it sold more than fucking Forspoken, which released, like, on the same day, if not around the same time. And that was, like, a triple-A game by Squenix. Hi-Fi Rush fucking outsold fucking Forspoken by being, like, half the cost. And not to mention, Hi-Fi Rush had continued support 
with updates, with DLC that people could buy if they wanted to support it, which is exactly what I fucking did. I loved Tango and I loved this game. So I bought the DLC for this game just to show my support because I loved it that much. They were talking like a couple months ago about like tipping culture in video games and like, oh, we should be able to tip developers if you loved a video game that much. That that was my tip right there for Tango in Hi-Fi Rush. I bought every piece of DLC that they had because I wanted to give them extra money because of how much I fucking enjoyed that game. Hell, I was going to buy the game a second time. I'll be dead ass with y'all. I was going to buy it a second time. I was going to buy it on PlayStation to play the game all over again on PlayStation, but I actually decided to wait because um, Limited Run was doing physical releases of Hi-Fi Rush, and I wanted a physical copy so goddamn bad that I was like, I want to wait because I don't want to like, you know, waste my money and buy like the digital version of Hi-Fi Rush here um, and then have a physical copy of Hi-Fi Rush come in like, you know, like months later. Right. I, I just didn't want to do that. But honestly, like given the situation now, I just might because from from my understanding, um, because there is copyright music in Hi-Fi Rush, there is a potential that that license will eventually expire. So. They had that like streamer music in there, which I love. I love the streamer music, by the way. Um, absolute perfect addition to Hi-Fi Rush. Um, but it's in there because maybe they were trying to think ahead of what would happen if like something with the copyright music went wrong and they could just easily patch it so that way the stream remote songs would be available instead of the copyrighted music. But if the studio is closing and they can't patch the game now, Microsoft is going to have no choice but to delist de the game. <laughs> so... So what the f what the fuck, dude? Oh my god, I'm this whole this whole situation has me so frustrated and so angry. Not just for like, you know, the gamers right who loved Hi-Fi Rush and wanted to see more of this world and these characters, but I am so fucking frustrated for the people at Tango. I I really am. Um, they don't deserve it. The it seems like everybody on that team really poured their heart and soul into that game. And, um, it is, it's so, so frustrating and so just, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. When, when I saw the news, like my heart, I felt my heart drop and I just, I felt terrible for them. And it, it was slow. It was like very quickly replaced with just pure anger and rage at how, incredibly stupid this decision is and you guys know me i don't really make videos like this but i i really feel like it's important to speak out about it and like i'm just another cog in the wheel but hi-fi rush was such an important part of my like my gaming life last year um I'll, I'll even get a little bit personal too just because you know why the fuck not right um this is like my own personal story with hi-fi rush um, but around like, um, the end of 2022, uh, my dog passed away from cancer. I, I had her for 15 years. She lived a wonderful life. Absolutely loved her. Her name was Oreo. Um, and I was in such a depressive state for like the next like stretch of my life, like, you know, m months afterwards. Um, but the next month that um that the game like <laughs> the next month after that happened uh hi-fi rush released and it was such like a breath of fresh air for me i was having such a good time i just felt like i could escape you know and just play a video game that i really really enjoyed playing and just seeing the companionship between uh chai and 808 was just such a it was, it was really good to see. It, 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 I felt very emotional from, from those sections of the game. And in fact, um, I actually, I, sitting right here, I have my little plush of, uh, of 808 as well that I got from, uh, from the... I actually got it for Christmas, I think, this past year. My Christmas or birthday or something. Uh, but I have another 808 figure coming in because, like I said, I just love the game that much. I, I really did. It helped me get through a really not good place, you know? And... Um, and it just, it just, it makes me so sad. It really does. Because I loved Chai. I loved Peppermint. I loved all of the fucking characters in that game. I loved the mu I loved everything about Hi-Fi Rush. And seeing the studio being treated this way is just, it's, it's not it. I'm, I'm very, 
very pissed off. I, I, I really am. And I here's another thing that I'm going to say, okay? And like I said, I'm just another cog in the wheel. You know, I am a very, very small ant among a world of ants, right? I owned an Xbox from when I was maybe like 11 or 12 up until, like I still have my 360, honestly, but like after the PS4, Xbox One thing, I got a PS4 and I, you know, just didn't really buy any other Microsoft games, right? Um, but Hi-Fi Rush was the first Microsoft game that I had bought in uh, God knows how long. Like I, I honestly really don't remember the last time I bought an Xbox game, uh, just, being being honest but in terms of myself as an ant as a consumer um i'm i'm done with microsoft i'm i'm just i'm done i am that pissed off about this i was really looking forward to playing blade and i plan on living another couple dozen years on this earth so maybe they would have some project that I would be interested in that I would want to pick up maybe like on Steam because that's what they've been doing is they're releasing their library on Steam. And like I said, that's how I played Hi-Fi Rush. But um, but that's it. Like I'm I'm done. I'm not pissed off about it. I, I I'm not buying any more Microsoft games. I, I I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm not doing it. The only real way that I would play a Microsoft game is if someone else got it for me or um, I'm a part of a Steam family share right now. So like we, we share a library and stuff and that I really like that feature, by the way. But that's like another really good way to save money on having like a team of people to be like, hey, I'll buy this if you buy that. Like, like that sort of thing, right? Like sharing, sharing is caring and sharing is fucking cool, right? But if I end up playing something like Blade or like whatever um, in the future, I just, I'm not paying for it, and frankly, I'm not even really gonna promote it that much. Like, I'll make videos on it just to make videos on it, <laughs> you know? That's just how YouTube and Twitch life is. But, um, but no, I'm done. I'm done. I was even gonna buy the, uh, the Master Chief Collection at some point so I could play it with, uh, with some friends, and I'm glad that I didn't buy it, and, uh, now I'm not going to, you know? I'm just, I'm, no, it's not happening. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm that pissed off about it. I really am. The companies like this will only listen to your wallets. And frankly, they're not listening to our wallet right now because Hi-Fi Rush was a financial success and they still fucking closed the studio down. So I just, that's, that's also very frustrating, but I feel this is really all I can do to show my support for Tango and to show my frustration and disdain for Xbox is to um, say what I'm saying right now and then not buy any of their products anymore. So that's that's what I'm doing and that's really what the purpose of this video is. Last thing that I'm gonna say, and I, I can't remember if I said it already in this ramble, but if I didn't, I will say it again. Um, Tango Gameworks, uh, John, like everybody working at Tango, I am, so sorry that this happened to you guys. You did not deserve it. You made an experience that I will remember for the rest of my life. And, um, you know, you helped me get through a really rough patch in my life. And, uh, you know, I just, I gotta say thank you again for that. And I really, really, <laughs> really wish the best for you guys. I, I really do. I, I hope you all can bounce back from this. Um, I know that Shinji Mikami, like, left Tango a while ago to make a different studio. Hopefully, y'all could just transfer over there or, or something. I just, I wish the best for you guys because y'all, y'all did not deserve this. Um, even, like, the other studio, they, y'all just don't deserve this. Y you don't, you know, and, uh, and, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry that this happened. Um, that's really all I have to say about the situation. Um... Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below. And like I said, I wanted to make this video just to express my thoughts and opinions on the situation and just um, also express my love for the people at Tango and for Hi-Fi Hi Rush and to just show my support. Um, so, so yeah, I'm not going to plug or promote anything or whatever, but just, um, you know, go on to Twitter and, uh, and show them some love. That, that's really what... I'm going to ask you guys to do today. So um, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great rest of your evening and um, 
I'll see you next time.